Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. What a beautiful day it is to be in Jesus. So, amen. Amen. Brother Thomas with you here, and this is a ministry of Jesus Christ. And if ever the words of it's a beautiful day to be in Jesus were true, as they always are, but today in what we see happening around us, it is especially true. We find ourselves in a nation of lockdown. And I have to tell you, brothers and sisters, folks out there, of how easy, uh, amazing, I find how easy it was to lock down a nation, to lock the people in, to control to that degree, to that level of control. Really quite staggering. And it's on a worldwide scale. So if ever there was a question as to whether or not an antichrist could control the whole world, that question's been answered that it's, it is possible to do that even with all the fractions and divisions and governments and leaders and people and all the rest, it is possible. We're seeing it with our own eyes. Oh, amen. And so this is a time for many that is scary. And now is also a time that for those of us in Christ Jesus, to be able to stand up and say, there is an answer, there is a hope, there is a grace available. Indeed, oh and indeed, in 2 Thessalonians, Paul writes this, now our Lord Jesus Christ himself, and God, even our Father, which hath loved us, and hath given us everlasting consolation, and good hope through grace, comfort your hearts, and establish you in every good word and work. Oh, and amen. Now our Lord Jesus Christ himself, God, even our Father, which hath loved us, hath given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace. Oh, yes. You know, there are times and moments in our lives when God's touch his hand upon us, his warm embrace is more profound and deeply needed than the parting of the Red Sea. There is a comfort in his presence and knowing that God is in control God has you in his hand, and it's okay. Oh, and amen. And this consolation and good hope through grace is everlasting, everlasting. Absolutely. It comes with a God-given guarantee. Yes, indeed. So today, know that God knows and it's okay. God is in control. And what does it say? Comfort your hearts. Comfort your hearts today. Be comforted. Be of good cheer. 
and know that what we see going on around us today is temporary. Well, not because the virus will go away, or but because the Lord has a plan and all things have a time, a place and a purpose. And we're seeing it all unroll like a scroll before us, we like to say. And it is temporary. Because all of this is leading us to one of the most beautiful things, the coming of the Lord. So an increase in these types of things we're going to see, have to, and it's okay. It's okay. God is in control. Comfort your hearts and establish you in every good word and work. Yeah. He's with you. He cares about you. He knows what you're going through. He's going to see you through it. To be him that establishes your good word and work. Stay at it. Keep telling the truth. Share the gospel with everyone you have an opportunity to share it with. That's the kind of time we're living in. No wasting time, brothers and sisters. That he would establish your word and your work. The things that we set our hearts and minds to. That we set our hands to. In his service. Today, more than ever, we are in need of sharing the gospel, comforting those in need of comfort, strengthening those in need of strength, loving those in need of love, God's love, most holy and righteous, sharing the good news of salvation in Jesus Christ through grace, God's unmerited favor. Today, they can know what we know. God has a plan. And it begins in salvation in Jesus Christ. Believing, deceiving, and becoming a child of God. Through the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross at Calvary. His death, his shed blood, his burial. Oh, and he, he, was, he rose again the third day. A glorious truth as we approach the day we call Easter and the celebration of his death, burial, and resurrection. The devil has managed to close down the churches doing it online, doing it in our homes, which is quite all right, actually. Perhaps we can focus on the true reason for the season, the true reason that we celebrate, the true reason that we share the events of those days leading up to the Lord going to the cross and then being raised the third day. The reason for it. Focus on that today rather than eggs and bunny rabbits and chocolate. But rather the atoning sacrifice of Jesus Christ. 
the penalty, the price, the glory of our hope, the reason of our hope in a resurrected Savior that we might know an everlasting consolation, everlasting consolation and good hope, and good hope through Jesus Christ. Oh, and amen, amen. So take the lockdown, use it for God's glory, for God's praise. Oh, in Jesus' name, share Jesus with somebody. You may be locked in your house, but the computers are working still. Our phones are still working. Give somebody a call and share Jesus with them today. And share with them the glory of a resurrected Savior. His name is Jesus. He is the Christ. The son of the living God. One amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen.